What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more AFK Arena news for December 28th, 2020. So, we have the new patch notes, it's about to hit live very soon, so let's jump on the test server and see what it's all about. All right, so we do have patch notes for 1.54. We're gonna go through it. There's some pretty cool things for those who spend the game as well as some tweaks and some new additions to the game that are gonna be very good. So let's see, first thing off, you'll of course get those 1200 diamond compensation gift. It's always kind of nice, even though the servers go down. It's a nice little gift. We will have new additions and optimizations. So a new Misty Valley round is about to commence. Same old, same old. I imagine the rewards are exactly the same or very similar. They are adding a new adventure, the Arid Badlands to the Voyage of Wonders feature. So that'll be nice. As well as another adventure called the Hazy Timberland to the Wandering Balloon. So this will be unlocked once you complete stage 2450. Always great. These types of things just give you so many free rewards. It's really nice to see. Uh, one thing that they're adding that I've started to see in a lot of gacha games out there is uh, the hero popularity feature, which is it tells you kind of like the percentage of people, at least in other games, it'll tell you the percentage of people who use and build this hero, uh, which allows players to see which heroes are popular with certain chapters as well as hero signature items and furniture trends. So that will be found in the heroes tab down the bottom here. That is really nice, especially for people who really don't know what heroes to be going for. And they don't, of course, sit on YouTube or Reddit or Discord or any of that to get all the information. Especially when it comes to signature items and hero and uh, furniture trends. Because, um, let's be honest, a lot of them might sound good. But in reality, you don't need a 9 of 9 furniture. You only need 3 pieces. So it's really, really cool feature. I'm hyped to see that once it's in the game. Uh, the following optim optimizations are being made for first purchase and newcomer bundles. So the newcomer bundles are the ones that you have for like the first month of an account that you can purchase and get pretty good value out of them. And the um, they'll be getting all new Voyager sets. Interesting. Players that had previously triggered the newcomers bundle shall be able will also be able to normally purchase the Voyager set once available. So it's not they're going to give it to you. It looks like you're still going to have to purchase it. Both sets will be available on the merchants page at the same time for players that still have unpurchased and valid newcomer bundle available. That's really cool. The second one is content from the first purchase bundle has been revised. Really, really good. It needs a revision. After the revised bundle has been implemented into the game, all players will be able to claim it. So it does sound like you don't have well, after making a purchase of any amount. So it does sound like you're going to have to make a purchase to get the new one. And I believe what that one is, is this Estrilda purchase right here. It's, it's not that great. Not that great. So hopefully it's a lot, a lot better here. Uh, moving on, though, we will also have something kind of like a quality of life feature in Dismal Maze. If a player becomes stuck at a particular Dismal Mage stage in the Arcane Labyrinth, they can choose to refresh the enemy's formation a total of three ref refreshes per round. That's really good because right now, if you hit that enemy that you just can't beat, well, that's the end of your run. At least this gives you a little bit of an RNG protection. Maybe you can find a lineup that you can actually beat. So that is really good. Number seven, the player limit for the friends list has been raised to 40. Nothing bad about that. More hearts going around as well. Optimization for the, uh, or optimize the interactive experience of the Oak Inn's furniture recycling feature. That's pretty good. I don't really like how it is right now. And lastly, players can now hold down a hero's avatar to view more detailed information about them within the battle log. So at the end of a battle, you can check that out. Players will not be able to view the generated system. I think I imagine what that means is you'll not be able to view the enemy setup, but you can take a look and see. Um, like when you're in, you know, guild, you want to see what they did and you want to see exactly what gear is on that hero. That's probably what it's going to be. Probably. Then we do have some hero adjustments and changes. Uh, optimize the brief descriptions of many heroes. Okay. Uh, fix several relics and dismal luck effects within the arcane labyrinth, which were incorrectly taking effect against summoned entities. That's good. Makes it easier, it sounds like. All right, so Grizzle, the Corrupted. Rework the ability Demonic Assault for specifics. Please see the in-game ability description. So let's go check that one out immediately because I know that one is a hot 
topic right now for a lot of people. So let's go find him, pull up his skill, and see what is being changed. So I think that's uh, which one? Demonic Assault. So Grizzles attacks an enemy in front of himself three times for 80% damage per time, also stealing some of their power. Stealing the enemy's power causes their damage output to fall to fifth or by 50%. And the damage they receive from increases by 25. This effect of this ability shall persist until the enemy dies, Grizzle dies, or until it is used on a different enemy. Level 2 damage increased to 90%. Uh, 4 is damage increased to 100%. 3 is Grizzle's attack rating is increased while he is stealing his enemy's power. Grizzle's attack rating is increased by a value equal to 75% of the enemy's attack rating and will change according to the enemy's attack rating value fluctuation so i have not used him too much in game but what i'm getting out of it is there's this huge rng factor a huge swing between people high rolling his damage and really low rolling and it's like hundreds of millions to billions of damage difference so i don't know necessarily if this is a buff or a nerf i'll leave that up to you guys but uh it is something really important because a lot of people build this hero for all that pve that is out there so Let's jump back into those patch notes. There's only a couple more things to go over. Uh, Odin, they're fixing an issue that would sometimes prevent the ultimate ability soul burn from correctly removing all the enemy's energy. That's good. That's essentially a buff because it wasn't working properly. Brutus fixed an issue that would sometimes prevent the ability last grasp from taking effect. That's really good. You really want that one to take effect. Uh, Aziz fixed an issue that was causing the animations of the ability Feeble Mind to still be played despite being used against an enemy which was immune to control abilities. I guess that just helps watching in the battle. Uh, Zolrath fixed an issue that was preventing his ultimate ability Time Rift from being triggered when he suffered fatal damage for the first time while under the transformation effects of Peepa's transmogrification. Never actually seen that because I don't really see Peepa use that much right now. And finally, Alna. As from what I'm hearing, guys, Alna is pretty much like a Taylene tier hero, but we need to dive into it a little bit more. Optimize the triggering mechanism of the signature item ability, Unrelenting Heart, once the item is enhanced to 30. So signature item 30. Now, if Alna's health is below 50% after receiving damage, the effects of the ability Winter's Call will be triggered. So that's pretty good. Uh, a buff to her. I mean, that just sounds like it's going to make her stronger. At least it sounds like a buff. Not 100% sure. We'll have to figure it out. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. The patch notes are looking good. I'm interested to see what the bundles are going to change to. That's kind of big. And I know a lot of you guys out there really, really need to find out what this grizzle change is going to be. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. We just passed 1,000 subscribers. So we're going to be doing another gift card giveaway on the channel. So this is the perfect time to hit that subscribe button. Maybe even hit that bell. Hit that thumbs up. And uh, yeah, stick around. We're going to be doing at least one to two videos a day for the next couple of weeks to see how it goes. And hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time.